My name is Nicola Marceau, and on this segment of co-creating today, we'll be talking about co-creating with the cosmos. There's a concept of, which is an old atom that definitely rings true, is as above, so below. And when it comes to um, astrology, planets are always circling the zodiac. 24-7, never stops. And if one thing that astrology teaches us is the importance of life cycles and those cycles in particular. Some cycles are longer than others, some extremely fast, like a lunar cycle, for example. Longest cycle, Pluto taking over 200 and some years to uh, transit the zodiac, making that full circle. Now, as planets make circles around the zodiac, they're having conversations with each other. And how are they having these conversations? They're making specific angles to each other as they move along that zodiac. And when these angles are present, these conversations being present, these are moments of opportunity for us to harness that energy and to take action, to willfully participate in that cosmic energy and consciously engage with awareness, to navigate the integrated, ver integrated version of that conversation that's at play. Now, as the planets have the conversations with each other in the galaxy, in our own galaxy, within our own solar system, they make what we call astrology aspects to our own natal planets. And our own natal planets is what's positioned within our growth chart. The minute we took our very first breath, we're presented with a snapshot of the cosmos. And it's said that this is the signature of our soul's purpose, what we signed up for in this lifetime. Now, these aspects in the chart is a continuum of energy that could be played out. And this is where the free will comes in. As we consciously engage to integrate that energy, we speed up the evolution of our soul's purpose. And by understanding the cosmic energy that's playing out within the cosmos at any given point in time, and how that affects our own personal chart, as well as the collective, we are then co-creating with the universe, consciously engaging with it cosmic energy to fulfill our own personal destiny. So how's this done? Well, at the most simplistic level, why don't we start by tracking our new moons? Track the new moon, see what's going on with you in that particular area of chart. Revisit that six months. Is what's what happens in six months? Well, we have the full moon in that same area. So if we have a new moon, for example, in Taurus, six months later in fall, we'll have the full moon. And those two scenarios are intrinsically connected. That theme's played out because that full moon, something has to be acknowledged, ended, or adjusted. There's a culmination of what has occurred. And during the different phases of that lunar cycle, we see the involvement, we see the, the different angles at play, the different conversations that are to be had that help us navigate. And that ultimately is what our birth chart is. It's a roadmap for us as a human species, embodying the spirit and the soul within us to navigate. So we start by that. Mercury retrogrades is another one. Just track the degrees. The Mercury, Mercury retrograde coming up. This one will be in Libra. Mercury will go retrograde at 25 degrees Libra. And then go direct at 10 degrees Libra. If you pay, pay attention to those degrees within a retrograde season as a whole, so I'm talking about the post-shadow period when Mercury first enters retrograde, 
and then officially goes erect, and then retraces back in steps and hits that same degree, and then moves forward, and then journeys along that path once again, and meets up to that degree yet again. Taking note and just taking part of those two simple things, you'll notice without question the cosmos at play and how you can consciously create and engage within this energy. So I hope this video has been of use to you and it helps you have a better understanding of what co-creating with the cosmos is actually about. And the key to astrology and to co-creating is awareness. Awareness is so key. And um, it's been a powerful force in my life and I hope it's gonna be the same for you. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it all so much. Very thankful, very grateful for it all. And if you haven't already, do visit www.cocreatingtoday.com. And when it comes to your own astrological journey, there's great tools there to assist you and to help you to get better understanding, better grasping of all that concept and that language, which is ultimately what astrology is, language of the cosmos. So do come back. I'll be making more videos like this using real life examples to teach you the language of astrology. Thanks for being here.